There are many reasons that it makes sense for NAFA affiliates to become full members of the organization, as long as fleet managers still hold the top leadership positions. How will NAFA affiliates become uh, full members of NAFA? Well, so the way that that has to work is that the members have to vote on a bylaws amendment. So in the third week of August, on August 22nd, all NAFA members will get a proposal from me that states, and from the NAFA Board of Trustees, that states we believe that the NAFA bylaws need to change so that NAFA affiliates can have the full voting rights and full participation rights as NAFA members. And there's many reasons for this. One was you know, simply because it, the, the playing field has not been balanced for many years. For many years, NAFA has, since its existence, NAFA has depended on affiliates for its financial survival, but also for its content, for its expertise as well. We lean on affiliates very heavily. But affiliates haven't had an equal say in NAFA, in how we are run, in what we do, the ability to vote, the ability to lead our national committees, or the ability to serve on the board of directors. If this bylaws amendment passes on August 22nd, that will all change. And affiliates will then be called associate members, and they will have the ability to vote in NAFA elections. They will have the ability to be national committee leaders. They will have the ability to serve on the national board of directors, as it will be called, instead of the board of trustees. Not only will they have the ability to serve, they'll have a greater voice on that body, because that body has 13 people on it. The board of directors will have 13 seats. Up to five of those seats can now, would now be able to be affiliates or associate members, as they will be called. So the affiliates not only will be able to finally have a say in the direction that NAFA goes, they'll have a greater say, they'll have a greater influence on how NAFA goes. That's not to say and to quell any fear that, Na that, that affiliates will overcome NAFA or take over. I know I've heard from many fleet managers that that might be a fear, is that NAFA might lose its focus on fleet managers and what we're all about. That will never happen. Rest assured that will never happen. The board of directors will always be a majority of fleet managers who lead the association. There will never be more than five affiliates on that board, and there will never be more than one affiliate from any one company on that board. I should also mention that the affiliates will, or associate members as they will be called if this passes, will, will be able to hold any of the 11 seats on the board of trustees, but they will never be able to be our senior vice president or our president. Those two highest ranking seats in NAFA will always be maintained for NAFA members, people that actually practice fleet management on a day-to-day -day basis.